Yo, what's going on you guys? This is Thorly Edits here and today I want to show you guys a quick little trick in Element 3D and also this tutorial goes out to the people who already know how to motion track but don't know how to do this. It's basically a rotation of the text. It just looks so clean. I'm going to show you guys my way of how to do it. I found this out completely 100% by myself on Adobe After Effects and I was just really bored one day and I thought it looks really, I, I just think it just looks really clean and I'm going to show you guys how to do it now. So, what you guys want to do is um, just click on your group one and I already have my text out and the scene set up. So you guys want to click on group one or if wherever you, I don't know, it's group one. So what you guys want to do is click on particle look and also this is my first tutorial so if I do mess up, I do apologize. And you guys want to come down here to the multi object. So once you guys have clicked on multi object, you guys are going to be hit with all these stupid things. but um. This is going to be unchecked, so you guys want to come here to rotation, check it, and you guys want to set a keyframe. And make sure when you set a keyframe, you're like where you can barely see the text, like where it starts. So, or actually, no, go a frame before it starts. Uh, that'll look a lot better. So, like around here. So, let's say if you already have your text out there, I mean, you can just do it like at zero seconds, and it'll still look good. So, what you guys want to do is set a keyframe and these are my personal preferences I like to have it between 25 and 28 that'll just look best in my opinion but my opinion varies from others so when you're in this position all you guys want to do is just keyframe that you know set it to however much you want it to you know be rotated at I'm sorry it's a little laggy I don't know why but it'll look like that but it won't look like that through the whole clip of the cinematic. So you guys want to come over to the end. This is near the end. And all you guys have to do is just click on it. And it's already keyframed. You just click zero and you're done. Basically it. I will have a preview or like a rendered out thing that I did earlier. It just looks so clean. This is a really rushed cinematic. I didn't really take my time on placing it right, you know, placing it on the wall, you know, bringing it out forward. This is just really rushed. I just wanted to get this tutorial out to you guys. It's honestly really easy. It just looks so clean. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys do want more tutorials, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Comment section. I need to go to sleep. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.